Eagle. This here the Gray Plantation? Yep. Caliga Hall. And that's as close as you're getting to. Why are you pointing a gun at me? I just wanted hey, to say look, hi. I'm helping the sheriff with some trouble. Wanted me to have a word with a few of the folks on the property here. Emmett Lee. All right. Have a word. But I ain't got the time to help you. Obliged. Wow. Nice. Thank you. I'm... I'm thankful that you didn't kill me on the spot, since you're so trigger happy. The sheriff? And you're so rude too. Like it's not my fault you have to stand around in the sun all day. God admit though, this is a nice house. Look how huge it is. The only drawback to big houses like this, personally, would be the amount of cleaning and upkeep you have to do. That's why I like smaller houses. It's so much easier to maintain, you know? Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region, and, uh... I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Sweet, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Lover of ladies here, like my video, share my video, leave your comments below because I just love talking to you guys. But most importantly, subscribe to my channel. That way you'll be able to get daily gaming content from me. And hit that notification button as well so you know when I upload my videos. So this must be the guy that I was looking for, right? Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I'm just looking for work. Well, looking for something. Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us. And the what? Boys. I don't what? want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Oh, oh no. Is this some Romeo and Juliet She's stuff that I'm walking I'm into? Gray, son of Tavish Gray. Yeah, it is. Lee Gray, the sheriff. Grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, mm. I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. Seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got mm. money. We graze. We've always got money. No brains, money. Mm. Let me turn around. I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet. Please. Wow, and a gift? Look at you. Swoiling her already. Shoot, for a nice quick pay. Oh no, I have to sneak. And you know how notoriously horrible I am with sneaky missions. This should be interesting. I have the fog on my side. And I just had to mount. I just had to get off my horse because I know for a fact with that amount of noise, they are sure to hear me and see me. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's cool that the fog is helping shield my location, but at the same time, I don't even know where these guards are. Ooh, there's one right there. This is getting really crazy. How am I supposed to sneak without them seeing me? I mean, there's only one guard, so it's not too bad. And I'm just trying to be as quiet as possible here. Ooh, there's another one. Ooh, okay, let me go over here, honestly, before that guard sees me. 
I love the music, too. It's so cool how I have sneaky music. I'm just going around in circles, honestly. I really don't know what to do here. Okay, as soon as that guard moves, I'm just going to move. Yep, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Then there's another one right there, too. Wow, this is wild. I have a good feeling that I might need to do this more than once. I don't know, maybe. Let's see. Come on. Oh, shit. Nope. Okay, I'm sorry. My bad. Oh, anyways. Let me sneak. I'm surprised I didn't get shot. I mean, at least the guy was very really kind enough to just say, get out the property. Am I right? And I didn't get shot. I'm surprised. Usually with Red Dead Redemption, everyone is trigger happy. Oh, man. Where is this girl? You mean to tell me I have to go through the whole house? You know what? I'm going to run. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. There's a guard. I'm not trying to make too much noise. How am I supposed to get past this one? Can I just choke the guard or no? Wait, I forgot. Dutch said not to use any type of violence. And there's a guard right there, too. Let me, let me go over here before he sees me. What's that noise? You know what? I'm not even going to think about that noise. I'm just here to deliver a message. And that's it. Oh, why can't I sneak faster? But then again, I'm not trying to make a lot of noise, you know? I see a horse over there, so maybe I can just, you know, do this. There you go. Ah, she's right here. Nice. Okay, I finally got here safe and sound. Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And... A box for you. A gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from, uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange? Well, yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages, or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Wow. That was different. But if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, they're something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. So run that away. Sounds pretty complicated. Grab your bay and run away. Quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. Oh, wow. I don't, uh, well, maybe a bit. But here. If you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. Damn. Now I'm the mailman at this point. And I gotta leave the area without being seen. Hold on. This is sneaky. Can I just... Grab my horse? Please come. I'm not trying to walk this whole way over there. I just want to run away, honestly, because this is a definite red danger spot. Look at look at the map. Look how red the map is. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. 
Okay, I'm trying. I'm gonna leave without being seen, okay? So I should be good. Come on now, boy. Ooh, this is dangerous. This here is so dangerous. But I should be good, right? Hold on, let me take a look at my map here. So, ooh, look at all these people. Look at all these people. And also, where's this kid? Great, I just have to leave the area. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do, you ready? I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go the long way just to be safe at this point. Because it doesn't make sense to go through the north side if I have all those guards waiting for me on the north side, you know? Yeah, it's the long way, but I'd rather be safe than sorry, right? Cowboy like me, I'm not trying to get caught. Nice. Nice, I did it! You know me, I'm on official business for the family. All right, come on. Thank you, you are so sweet. Wow, I'm finally welcomed at this family. I'm, you know what? That last mission there was pretty hard. I seriously thought I was going to get killed. Especially since I got caught, but hey. I'm able to give her the letter, the gift, and she was pretty happy. Okay, so the kid is inside this farmstead, so let me just give him... The letter, and then I should be good. You got my money? Sure. Co cough it up. Give anything? Yeah. Me? Yes. A letter you back. Sure. But it'll cost you. Uh, I can't be bothered. Here. You take. know, young Thank love. You, young You'll love. Thank you. Look at me, I'm all God. sweating and everything. What a woman. She's this'll get her killed for sure. What? What are you talking about? Suffrage. Around here they don't even like men voting. They bring back the monarchy given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me. What? I want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. Ew. They. They're. they're... Kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mr. What? Got to help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family. We've still got some money. Fine. Ha! <laughs> he sold. No more running around with letters. He sold with the pay. Come on. Uh, I don't want to get on. in this. Oh, pay! Okay. <laughs> oh, Arthur, he is so funny. Seriously. Mount up, all right. And follow me to Rhodes. Come on. Okay. Come on. All right, all right. We'll go I got you. All right. Look at this guy. He is so dedicated and committing to his lady. But then again, I'm the same way with my girlfriend, honestly. I'm so dedicated to her. Easy boy, calm down. I mean, why weren't I? I? She's like if the love of my life at this point. Love, I just love her, how the night out. suddenly Who changed to daylight so fast. To I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman. Not a statue in her honor. Uh, it's sure that serious, huh? Going. There. There they are. <laughs> Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please. What? what? I'm not going to tell her what to do. Leading me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from 
certain elements. So you want me to be their bodyguard? Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Okay. Sure. I better get paid for this. Miss Calhoun, my friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Yeah, of course it well, does. I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Oh, Shall say go? no more. I guess I'm gonna end right, up ladies. doing some shooting. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the food and we fetch the water. Now, water's now, take us down Main Lord Street, TV. right through town to the steps of the Bank of Road, Mr. What was me. your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Okay, ma'am. I got it. Look at that. I just love how they're singing. It's so cute. will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Okay, I got you. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I hope it's the only good kind of excitement. Uh-oh. You hear the men? They're complaining. Wow, that says a lot. Look at this, a circus. Well, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. equals. Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. Shut is up. Sad. Shut up. Go make yourself a sandwich we then. Free just as the founding fathers intended. Oh, mm. Founding fathers, oh. not founding mothers, you hey, silly old goat. Hey, 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 philosophy dependent hey. on biology. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening, I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. You need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always were. Bo, where are we just leaving? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ron. Yeah, come on, let's go. Come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Before. On, Let's go. Quick now. Yeah, before, you know. Come on, come on. Let's go. Yep, let's go. Can I mount my horse? Yeah, I didn't want his cousins to ruin the speech, so. Alright, I'm following you. You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. Yeah, Arthur, like stupid. <laughs> I love it. Primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me, everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all ten minutes. Yeah, you guys are not obvious. You, you, you guys are pretty obvious about it. So. With, you mean we're dealt with. 
our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets and we bury them deep. Rolling in the deep. Okay, Adele. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right, you know, and Penelope said, uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. Really? So there is no gold? Is what you're telling me? This is awful. Nobody died. It ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know. But you should leave. I will. As soon as I have enough money. When my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. But, uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a... artistic temperament, so... Well, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Uh, here, your payment. Thank, Thank you. you. Excuse me. Nice. I love getting paid. How much did I get? Ooh, he gave me $30. Whew, shivering my timbers on that. Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Oh, yes, boy Callahan. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to... Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Well, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So are you can. drunk? And no man owes another anything. Yeah, he's drunk. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that. That's Still, what you tell him? Here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Right. Oh, that's some strong stuff. No wonder Still, he's wasted. Don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. Sheriff, can you, can you even see straight? Oh, wow. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have found What? Out. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good, honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though. And it is cost in this county its good name. And the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down. A Not a problem, sir. Not of course, a problem of course, all. Dutch. Of you course. Are in safe hands, of man. course, Dutch. You would be the one. Time with the and this guy is Ranger still drinking. Come on. Senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Right. Of Climb course. Let's go. Wow. Promoted from being a thief to a deputy. I don't know what Dutch did to talk us Talks into wrong. having this, but he has you? such good. good charisma. And I give him that. Is behaving himself. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most Thank towns you. just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. Okay, is what is it? It's business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey, Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course. Who else would be? But you were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. Thank we you. That. No wonder I got that promotion. After. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners, 
Not just any moonshiners, Braithwaite's. Oh no! What a sure small world. I'm not even surprised. Had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. And the shade no too. Shut up, Arthur. Brown Noser. Has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold. These families were fighting over. Yeah, what's well, that about? That's the rumor. But Damn. The Grays and the Braithwaites think the other stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? I wouldn't know about that <laughs> so life, but I, I guess. That badge rather suits you, Mr. W. Yeah. I thought so too. Does it feel good to be back at it? Serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa. Whoa. Hold up. You see that wagon? Yeah, I see it. Oh. What? And judging by the amount of axes on the map, there's dead bodies here too. Oh, and I hear the flies. Damn flies! I swear they come on, mister. You could try washing. Keep your eyes open. Wow, dead body. Hold on, let me change the viewpoint. Look at this. Wow. No. Yep. This must have happened recently. Ooh. Mm -hmm. He got shot. Hey, come have a look at this. Okay. More blood. Ooh. Look. Suit and tie. One bullet clean through the forehead. Okay. My money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Oh, I yeah, dealt with them before. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. I'll send okay. someone over here later to clean this up. Wow, they ransacked everything. That's horrible. And I didn't even get to loot anything either, because they took all the loot. So I'm upset. Look at all these flies. Disgusting. Okay, I guess I'll go the other way around. Damn, okay. Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. Okay. I'll direct you. Cool. That is so crazy. These Lenore boys are Okay. Savages. Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor feller. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. A bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. Go right at the crossroads. I say we yeah. should kill them. Not the nicest fellas in my experience. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. Wow, yes. dirty. They're right again here. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. Drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. I Kill bet his liver is shot. Like a child's on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. Selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to him. Don't even look him in the eye. Here we are. So what was I saying? Um... Yeah, like, like baby hands? That word makes me sick. Anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? Round them up, and take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you guys next week.